Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you an inventory trailer. It's going to be a 2005 Elite three-horse gooseneck. So very nice put together trailer um, for the age. It's in very good shape and it's just really cute and I love this trailer. Um, but we'll get started right underneath. We've got it hooked up to this truck right now. They just did a video on it too. So if you're looking for one, make sure you check it out. But you got your safety chains, your adjustable coupler. So we want to make sure you're sitting as level as possible. Like this one, we had to adjust that and make sure that it was sitting level on this truck. And then, you know, all your battery breakaway, safety stuff like that. And then underneath, you got your manual crank jack and then your spare tire. So then coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we do have our tack door. Um, tack room entrance is on the, the driver's side, head side of the trailer. So you got the window on the door and then you also have the brush box down below. So I always keep easy to grab stuff in there, stuff I use pretty consistently or stuff that needs to stay upright, bottles and stuff like that. Um, so having that there and having the access just makes it a, a lot easier for you. So coming in here into the tack room, up above the gooseneck, we got plenty of storage space. If you're in a pinch, got to throw a mattress up there, you could do so easily. You got windows on both sides, be able to get some airflow going through if you get that, you know, musty sm horse smell in here. And then over on these walls, you can see all the bridle hooks. You got plenty of bridle hooks going on this wall and this one right down here. So you're probably wondering where's the saddle rack? So this post can put the saddle rack in here. It's in the rear tack. So when we get back to the back, I'll show you. You can move it from either one um, if you want it in the rear or in the, in the front. Um, kind of depends on your preference and what you find usable, what works best for you. So then over on this partition wall, you do have a blanket pole or a blanket bar. And then down below, you do have a couple more brush boxes that you can, you know, put some stuff in, whatever you need to do. So on this first stall, you do have an escape door. So escape door opens up just in case you need it. Um, you've got a horse that's kind of spooky and you got to get in there with it, shut the divider, you can jump out real quick. Or what I really like doing with my personal trailer, I use this more for a storage stall than I do for horses because um, most of the time I'm only hauling two instead of three. So I will put my hay in there, um, my muck bucket, my pitchfork, stuff like that. I usually store in this first one. And then I have that capability and option to access it from outside the trailer. Say if the horses are still loaded up, I'm not having to unload them to get stuff out. You can just go in right here. And then you do have the drop down on that stall as well. And those drop downs pop into place and that way they're not jingling around when you're going down the road and drop downs on all three stalls and then these actually let's see they come up and down so that will give you capabilities and option to you know check offer hay offer water without having to go through the back of the trailer and just keeping that safety feature in mind so then to put it back up you just gotta slide up and it goes back down. So down below here, we've got two 5,200 pound rubber torsion axles with your 16 inch steel wheel. In this trailer, we did get a brand new set of tires on it. So anything used, we get in. Um, unless we state otherwise, we're gonna go through and we take those wheels off. We check the brakes and the bearings. If the brakes and bearings need to be replaced and repacked, we'll do so. If the tires are over five years, worn or non-matching, replace all the tires. And then we go ahead and put a wheel alignment on them, make sure they're hauling straight for you, wearing the tires how they should be and, you know, not kicking back behind you or anything. So that's, that's a really nice feature we do here. And then in addition to that, we go through all of your latches. So your window latches, your door latches, um, all of that stuff, make sure it's all operating how it should be, you know, your dividers, everything. Um, all safety wise too, with all your lights. I mean, we go through them with a the fine tooth comb. We wanna make sure when you're buying something used that you're ready to throw horses in it and hit the road. You're not gonna be popping up with issues. So 
nice little reminder buying anything used from us unless we state other otherwise we are going to throw them through our shops and go through them completely so coming around here to the back end of the trailer you got your 50 50 door split very bright well light up above so be able to load and unload in the dark makes it heck of a lot easier and then we've got our collapsible rear tack so this is what i was talking about earlier this is where the saddle rack is currently located but if you wanted to use this tack room as more of a dirty tack um, you could put this up front and you know put your muck bucket back here your pitchfork your brooms um, you could put more hay in there grain i mean there's so many options to be able to use that space and utilize all the space in this trailer and then you do have another brush box on this door as well. So I'm coming up here into the trailer, we've got our nice dividers with the pads on each side. So these open up, so pads on both sides. And then these also have the feed bags. So I don't know if you can see that right there, feed bag in them. Um, if you didn't want the feed bag, they just unclip, they're just on that little three ring snap or two ring snap just unclip it real quick and get it out of there but nice you can clip these back so if while you're loading here we go that's not going to be like swinging towards you if you're on a slope or anything it's going to stay over out of the way and give the horse as much space as possible to come in the other nice thing about this trailer so if you have a horse or a younger horse or one that's just not so easy to load and you need that bigger space because right now all you got is this this app actually collapses down so what you do is undo the pins and then this can actually fold out too and that way you've got this whole space to try and get that horse in and load them up and then you just have to put this um, back in in order to latch the doors so nice little feature that that comes with as well up in there you'll see each stall has its own roof vent so it's push forward and push backwards. So pushing them forward is gonna help draw that air in. Pushing them back is gonna help draw that air out and just keep that airflow going through the trailer. And then you do have lights inside too. So helps out once again, when you're trying to load or unload in the dark and just being able to see and function easier. And then you got the butt bar that comes up over the back and pins in, if I can find the pin. There we go. So that way, I always, always have one up, no matter the horse I have loaded in that last stall, just for the fact if I have them tied up front, I don't want them trying to back out. And what if they have enough room, get one leg down, well, next thing you know, you're getting in an accident, horse is getting hurt. So having that bar there is gonna help prevent them from being able to back themselves out by themselves as soon as you open that door. So coming around here to the hip side of the trailer, We've got our bus windows, one for each stall. So those slide open, you can get that airflow going through um, and you can kind of pick and choose how much airflow you want going through it as well. And then I don't know if you noticed it, but you do have a hay rack on this trailer. So having that hay rack, just extra storage space. If you're going, you know, camping for the weekend, you're going to, the show, to a show for um, a few days or a week, you've got that capability of bringing your own hay. You're not having to worry about your horse having gut issues because you're switching hay on, them, hay on them at a show, anything like that, um, you can bring it with because you do have that hay rack up there. And you've got really cute decals on the side, America, love it. Um, but this trailer, we're going to be sitting at seven feet tall, we're sitting at seven feet wide, and we've got an empty weight of 4,000 pounds. So, you know, most three quarter tons are going to be able to pull this no problem, but that's something you got to double check your toe rating and make sure that you have that capability of doing so. So stock number on this one, kind of hard to see there, um, but we've got stock number 5U220331, and that's 5U220331, and it's a 2005 Elite three horse gooseneck. So if you guys have questions on this trailer or any other trailers on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, if you click the link below, I guess that'll take you over to our inventory. It'll take you either directly to this one, or you can also view our new and used inventory there. Um, if you want to reach out, you can call or text me at my cell phone, and that's 970-218-5996. Call my desk phone at 
3451 or you can shoot me an email at morgan and that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot null k-n-o-l-l at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day